Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I am the guy that three years ago went all into Bitcoin by selling everything he had and started traveling the world with the family. Today guys, I'm coming to you from the airport here in Bangkok. It's abandoned, it's like a ghost town. It's like completely empty. Everything is closed in this airport. All the shops are closed, everything is closed. My, we can't even get a coffee. And if I don't get a coffee in the morning, I get cranky. I need my coffee. There is no coffee. There's, everything is closed. Uh, we need to fly in half an hour. So hopefully on the flight, Finnair, we will get a coffee because I need my coffee. In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to share some news with you guys. I'll show you guys how we travel from Koh Phangan to Koh Samui with the boat. Then from Koh Samui, we flew to Bangkok, we stayed for one night and now we are in the airport where everybody is having fun. As you can see, this guy is also having fun. Everybody is having fun in Ghost Town, Bangkok airport. <laughs> so guys, there will be some uh, travel videos inside. There will be some Bitcoin information inside. There will be a lot of information inside. Just make sure you watch today's video while I travel back to Europe. I am really doubting if I should even travel to travel back to Europe because if you see this all guys, is everything closed in Europe? Are we able, able to sit and have dinner with my family and friends in the restaurant or at home? Do we need, are we able to visit people? I am really thinking, did we make the right decision? Should we not have stayed in Koh Phangan on the tropical beach in my beautiful house there? But then again, my oldest daughter told me, daddy, we agree to never live in fear, so we will not live in fear. We will just go there and we will see how it is. And if it is not nice, we will fly back again when the borders open in Thailand. Very wise word for a 15 year old blonde girl. But yeah, she reminded me that we don't live in fear, but we are born to be free. So that's why we will show that we are free to do what we want. man <laughs> so what do you want <laughs> it's early in the morning i don't need my cup of coffee but everything is closed yeah who would have guessed that can Not i ask me. you something <laughs> depends on what it is you're asking did yeah. you make the right decision oh, again <laughs> how many times are you going to ask me that one now on the camera yeah now on camera i don't know Shall we stay? Is there a right and is there a wrong? <laughs> okay, no. Is it not better to stay? <laughs> you don't know what would have happened if we stayed, so... <laughs> or probably a visa extension. <laughs> uh, white beach and the sea. No masks. It felt a little bit strange, all the whole check-in and check-out procedure here. And the... Sometimes you need to wear it, sometimes you don't need to wear it. Sometimes you need to take it off because you need to see the pits. Yeah, it's strange. Very. Wish that I could stay. Wish that I could stay. Uh, scrambled egg. Yeah. <laughs> scrambled egg. What are you cooking? You're going to barbecue? Here. Can you bring this to Lex? He needs it for the barbecue. I don't know why. Today we'll make a farm goreng. Farm goreng? I think so, I think we're gonna make hibernate. Farm goreng! These are big shrimp and the fish. Let's follow the food, let's follow the food. Beach barbecue, guys, look. Oh my goodness! How do you say this? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Buddha, you see? Wow! Wish that I Big one! Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind. And though I know that there is nothing to find, you're a beautiful sight. 
to say to very nice. Salad. How do you taste it? Great. The sauce from it is like really sweet. You wanna uh, you wanna eat it? I didn't like it. Why not? He didn't buy it. Yes, they do. <laughs> Thailand is crying. Thailand is crying that we go. Port is empty. He just came through the how do you call this? The sensors. Control. <laughs> Passport control. Everything is fine. We only needed to get an extra stamp. We didn't need to pay a fine. There was no overstay fine, nothing. Thai oh. government did really good so we could stay till the 31st of July without any problems. And yeah, so we got stamped and now we can go to Europe. Okay, which one? Where are we going to fly? Where? It is really ghost town here on the airport in Bangkok. We need to stay here for two hours. I hope there is a restaurant open because like it's like empty, completely empty. All the stores are packed and wrapped, it's all there's nothing here. Which one would you sit? Green or red? Oh man is on a <gasps> Jolie <laughs> get off. No. Go you to a are... green chair. Like You're too that. close. Space. Go! You're in my energy. Why do you have a can I, can I why do you have a green dot on your tip? I don't have corona. <laughs> you have no fever. Can I can I ask you how did they check if you have corona? They did it. So why did you give the give you the green dot? Just like that. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Because there's color from Corona. Ah. What color are you sitting? Green. Good you know. Do you see you don't listen? Guys, the Bitcoin price, the Bitcoin price, we are still hovering around 9,250 like we have been doing the last six weeks. I do think we are going up somewhere in the near future. 
Yes, we can also go down, like I have already said in all the videos, but my opinion is that we will see an explosive move upwards, like maybe $1,000 or $2,000 upwards, all the way to 11600 We can see that there is a lot of support around 9000 level. But what we also can see is this beautiful chart, this one, um, this chart, we can see that it's very strange. Since the Black Thursday, we refer to the Black Thursday, since this date, all the Bitcoin has been flowing out of the exchanges, back into these hardware wallets of everybody. And that is the opposite is happening in Ethereum. You can see exactly where the vertical red line is. From that moment on, everybody was withdrawing all the Bitcoin from the exchanges. You can see that the amount of Bitcoin that was held in exchanges dropped tremendously from the Black Thursday moment. But you can also see, guys, that Ethereum kept growing. So Ethereum went up from that point. So the amount of Ethereum held by all these exchanges is still growing. This is, of course, I think, because of the DeFi industry and all the stable currencies are now tremendously being hyped. And all these stable currencies are bought by everybody. Please remember, they can freeze your stable currency. They cannot freeze your Bitcoins. But you can see that Ethereum has been growing, I think, because of the stable currencies, stable coins. The volume of Bitcoin on all exchanges decreased tremendously, and the volume of Ethereum on all the and the volume of Ethereum on all exchanges um, increased tremendously. So Ethereum is showing a very stable growth. So I think Ethereum is a very good investment at the moment because you can see how it slowly grows and keeps growing this year, and I think it will keep growing because I think this whole stable coins and this whole DeFi industry will be pumped tremendously by the community so that's why i also bought some ethereum I'm still holding my bitcoins and my litecoins and several other currencies so that is all about the price guys today i need to fly today so this is why i cannot dig deep into the price and ta but if it comes to the price guys long term investor bullish many signals macro signals many long-term best signals have been flashing it's the perfect time to step into bitcoin we are going to see 10k 10.5k soon again i think and if not we drop to 8k and you buy a little bit more over there some really cool news guys by binance so you know that binance bought swipe binance is now coming out with this first debit card this is really cool it's tied the Binance debit card is connected with your Binance account. This means you can directly spend your crypto now in 60 million places all over the world. And the Binance debit card is first going to be available for the European people, then the UK, then the rest of the world. I will be in Europe the next couple of months, so I'm lucky. I can request my Binance debit card. You swipe to create this debit card. It's a really cool thing because you can spend Bitcoin, you can spend BNB, you can spend Binance Stable US Dollar, you can, you can use Swipe's SXP token as well. And with all these currencies, you can directly spend them now in shops where Visa card is accepted. So you don't need to exchange them back to fiat or anything. You just use your card in all these 60 million places all over the world and you just spend your cryptos directly at the store. This is a huge step in between for direct payments with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies guys because yes these credit cards are a step in between in my opinion it's very cool that we can use these cards now but ultimately we should be using direct peer-to-peer -peer payments and um, so we should be able to do peer-to-peer -peer payments with crypto wallets but very cool that binance is now launching this crypto debit card i'm, I'm just amazed i'm walking on this completely abandoned empty airport here it's like empty it's completely empty nobody is here no flights nothing the only flight that is flying today i think is finnair to helsinki and to dusseldorf so do check out binance if you don't have a binance account yet please um, sign up using my referral link in the comments because you can use this referral link to sign up to binance you get a small bonus and then you're able to also request your binance debit card I think it will be able from August so if you want to check the Binance debit card you can check it from August and then you can request it really cool you can spend now your crypto directly in 60 million stores all over the world big 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 news another cool news guys today is that we saw this new blockchain project 
that is going to track all the Spanish cider creation and distribution in Spain. Cider is this beautiful drink they all drink in Spain and there is a lot of fake cider around the world. So these two companies, Spanish companies, decided to register all their production of cider and all the distribution of cider on the blockchain, built on the Telos blockchain. So in the future you will be able, if you have this bottle of cider, to scan QR code with this app and then with this QR code you can track down this bottle of cider when it was produced, if it's an official one. If you pay for the real cider, you want to have the real cider. So this is just one example of how the blockchain can be used in this world um, by tracking down all the cider bottles. For me, they should be tracking down all the Bacardi bottles because I don't want to have fake Bacardi. I only want to drink real Bacardi. So maybe Bacardi could do the same thing. They could launch this beautiful dab now where they track all the production of their bottles into the stores and when I find and when I finally buy this bottle I scan it with my iPhone and I can see when it was produced how long it was where it was and if it was a real bottle or not That was the video for today guys. I'm not going to make a long video because I need to start onboarding my flight. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and this ghost town airport here in Bangkok, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment and hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. And of course guys, please don't forget to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living.